Hi everybody, uh, my name is Imtwana, uh, so let's get started. Before we get started, uh, you FaceTime here, uh, make sure you click the link below. Uh, why you have to do that? Because in the link below, we have a program where we're feeding the homeless. Feeding, not only feeding, because uh, feeding someone does not uh, does not necessarily ch change somebody's life. So what I do, I will feed in the homeless uh, brothers and sisters, and also I give them skills like a computer skills or um, develop talents. For the most cases, develop talents like for the an artist, like people can sing or can act, uh, because I have a uh, equipment. So we, I develop them uh, acting films and do various projects like give them computer skills like Microsoft Excel, Excel, uh, Microsoft Word, also coding skills. See, so yeah, let's get started. So for that case, let's get started. So the first question here, they say uh, demand function of the certain kind of bed is given. I mean, this is a quantity and this is a price. Means the quantity depends on the price. See, now they say determine the point of elasticity of demand when P equals to 160. So I'm going to show you two methods. Okay, let's start with the face method. So the first method face, I'm going to say, uh, let me do the uh, okay. Let me do the method which is very common. Okay, so the first method you say uh, here is going to be p equal to a minus b q. So we're going to have q. This is q here. Let me write bigger q so you can see this is q. So we have to rearrange this question right here so it could be in that form. So you see p is on the left means here is going to take to the left. It's going to be positive 3p because it's negative when it goes over it's going to become positive equal equal and then 5 there is like a so this 500 and 300 minus minus so this q is going to go over so this plus will go over it's going to become minus so that's what i'm going to say see i'm going to skew excuse me so we're going to divide by 3 divided by 3 but divide by 3 because we just need only p alone here it has to be in this form so divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by this in this cancel so it's going to be p equal to 530 over 3 minus here is going to be 1 so it's like 1 over 3 over q so if you can look careful now we're going to compare look so if this is standard equation if i have to compare i can write uh look okay let me just write this one here because we don't need so is same as in a standard form look this is like a p equal to a and then minus is minus and then B, V, and Q. So if you, if you can look at the Q small letter, okay, it does not matter. Okay, look. This and this is going to cancel. And negative and negative is going to cancel. So B equal to 1 over 3. So B equal to 1 over 3. So I can simply write here B equal to 1 over 3. 1 over 3. That's our B. And if you can look careful, A, A is going to be 500, uh, 53, uh, 500, 300 over 3. So our A, because this A is equivalent to that. So our A equal to, okay, let me write here at the back a little bit. So I can say A, 5,300 over 3. And B equal to 1 over 3. So we have A and B. So and then after we get A and B, now we're going to get a point of elasticity. So point of elasticity has a formula. We say point of elasticity equal to negative 1 over B. And then you say P over Q. So we have all the value. What do I mean? We have a B. What the value of B? B equal to 1,003. 1,600. What is P? P. Oh, 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 no, no, no. B, I'm sorry. This is P, which is this one, P. And what is B? B equal to 1 over 3. So the only thing we don't have is a Q. And you can get Q. You know how you're going to get Q? We can use this formula here. So we're going to say Q. Look, this Q. You say, me say Q. Equal to 500, 300, 5,300 minus 3 times P. What the value of P? The value of P equal to 1,600. So you can plug here and replace this P with 1,600. And then this Q is going to be equal to, like plug in a calculator. If you plug in a calculator, I think you're going to get 500. Okay. So we're going to say now, uh, come here. And they say, um, Okay, okay, just a minute. So see, uh, 5,300 minus 3 times 1, 6, and that's going to be 500 now. So I don't have even have to waste my time, but let me just show you so you can understand how it comes. 5,300 
minus 3 multiplied by 1600. And this is going to give us 500. Yes, 500. So for that, big, uh, for that case, then we say, well, this is going to give us 500. Q equal to 500. So we know Q. So we can simply plug Q. We know B equal to 1 over 3 and P. Okay. So then finally, it's going to be uh, elasticity uh, of demand equal to oh, negative is negative here from this formula here. 1 is 1. B. What about B? B equal to 1 over 3. Bracket. It's 1 over 3. Multiply, multiply P. P equal to 1,600 over 500. See? So we can simply plug in the calculator. My apologies. So we're going to plug in the calculator. And then we say, well, uh, come here and say fraction, fraction. Uh, okay, okay. Negative is negative, and they come to the fraction. No, negative, sorry. Sorry, to, okay. Negative, negative equal to fraction one over bracket. No, 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 no. Come to the bottom. Bracket is bracket. Fraction one over three. One over three. Close, close. Come right there, and you, you multiply by fraction, and then our P, our P equal to 1,600, 1,600, and they go to the bottom, 500, which is, okay, so this is going to give us negative 48 over 5, which equal to, you put in SD, negative 9.6, if you put in SD, negative 9.6, so now, uh, negative 9.6, so we write down and then we say our elasticity of demand equal to negative 9.6. So, but look, 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 look. So, this is a point of elasticity. When say find the point of elasticity, this one here. But hey, look, you don't live like that. Let me show you here. Right so, we got the point of elasticity, but there's something we have to do. We have to determine the elasticity if it's inelastic. Or elastic, or you cannot determine, or you cannot determine. This is how you do it. If take your ED point of elasticity of demand equal to negative nine point six. <coughs> Took me so. So what you do? You have to find the absolute. Absolute means you write these things here. This we call absolute. So we write absolute. But the great and the beautiful thing about the absolute, when you put anything in absolute, for example, let's say negative five. Absolute. This same as say 45. Yes, that's how absolute works. If the number is negative, when you put this number in here, you see, it come out to the positive. Even if it's positive, it's gonna come out to the positive because it's positive already. So for this one, absolute of 9.6 is gonna become positive 9.6. But now the tricky part is how you're gonna know whether it's elastic or inelastic, or you cannot. So this is what you do. If you have plug in your number here to find elasticity by write this absolute, and your number come out, if this number is greater than one, then it is elastic. If that number is less than one, then it is inelastic. But for now, that number 9.6 is bigger than one. So for that case, you're going to say this is elastic. That's our answer. But let's say, for example, you got 0 0.7. Let's say 0 0.7. And they put in absolute, we get 0 0.7. We see this number is less than 1. And then this could be, this could be inelastic. Inelastic. If this was our final bar answer. But for our case right now, we have a 9.6, which is greater than 1. So now let's see. Is this true? Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So for that case, that is true. That's true. So option A is going to be true because this is not true. You know why? Because they say inelastic is not true. This answer is correct, but it's not inelastic. It's elastic because it's greater than one. When it's bigger than one, then it's elastic. It's not even true. It's not even true. So the answer is option number one. Let me show another method quick, quick. 
Kasi yung question ba nalam niya to? So for another method, look, another method is how you do. Right? You say, well, for me to get electricity, I must say dQ over dP, P times Q, over Q, sorry. That's all I need to get. But for this one here, all right, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> so you need to derive it. So if you don't know how to differentiate, then it's going to be problem. But it's not problem. I'm going to show you. He's away. So Q equal to. 500 and 300 minus 3 Q. So we're going to say when you differentiate Q here, when you differentiate your derivative, it's going to give you DQ. This Q disappear. Equal, there is no P or Q here, so it's going to be zero. That's how it works differentiating because this, that's a constant number. Now you come here, this is just a negative 3, but when you differentiate Q, it's going to give you D. Why Q, Q? What the question? This is P, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is P. When you visualize this P, is going to give you DP. But what do we need? We need DQ over P. Okay, so divide by DQ over P. Divide by DP. Divide by DP. This and this cancel. So for that case, so we say, well, DQ over DP equals to negative 3 because this and this cancel. So use a negative 3 here. So for that being said, we know what we're going to plug here. What the value of P? P equal to 1,600. So then we're going to say, uh, we're going to say now, this equal dq dp equal to negative 3. Multiply, multiply, p, p equal to 1,600 over q. q, we can get q. Look how we're going to get q. Let me show you. In a question given here, look, q equal to 5,300 minus 3 times p. What the p? p equal to 1,600. When you plug in the calculator, it goes to 500. So in the position of q, is going to be 500. Which then, if you plug in the calculator, then it's going to be elasticity of demand equal to negative 3 multiplied by 1,600 over 500. 0, 0, cancel, 0, 0, cancel. So it's going to be negative 3 times 16 over 8. It's like negative 80 over 5. Negative 8 over 5, you can say, okay, let's see demand equal to how many 5 in, how many 5 in 8? How many 5 in 8? 1, and they will let it 3, which is going to be 30. How many 5 in 30? I made a mistake, so, so, so. My apologize. I made a mistake somewhere. You know I made a mistake? Let me show you. Let me show you how I made a mistake, yeah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake somewhere. Silly mistake, and I apologize. Okay, so now we're gonna say now E, we want to get DQ DP. Let me do it again. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, DQ DP. I'm gonna differentiate Q is gonna give you DQ. Differentiate this is gonna give you zero, and this is gonna be negative three DP. So this is zero. I don't have to write this zero. But what do I need? I need what DQ over DP means divide by DP divide by this in this cancel. So equal to negative 1. Negative 3, sorry. So if it's negative 3, then we're going to say, uh, I was not wrong. I'm sorry, I was not wrong. I was very correct. So dp over dq equal to negative 3. It's going to come and replace this one here. So then we're going to say now elasticity of demand equal to dq over dp equal to negative 3. Multiply P equal to 1600 and Q says 500. You know how to get 500 because we're going to come and substitute here. Now, plug in a calculator now. This and this cancel, this and this cancel. 3 times 16 equal to negative 48. And that's why I made a mistake. I don't know. I say negative 8. I don't know what I was thinking. Negative 48. And when you plug this in calculator, it's going to give you negative 1.6, negative 9.6. So, elasticity of demand equal to negative. 9.6 now excuse me so i have to find the absolute and i have to find the absolute and this is going to give us 9.6 which is greater than zero if it's greater than zero then it's elastic you know why i did this right because this is greater than greater than one and then it's elastic not greater than zero 
critical one. So that being said, the option number one is going to be the right answer. Look, do not forget to go to the Instagram and check the boy in China underscore Bantu. Same name, China underscore Bantu. Also, go to my TikTok and see how I dance. And see how I dance. Hey, I do my dance only right there. I don't do some education and research. No, it's only dancing. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for your time, man. Peace. I'm going to see you soon.